So guys, our refrigerator is literally empty. So we wanted to eat and use everything that we have like in the freezer, our meat, because sometimes we go buy it and then buy it again and you have some leftover meat, take it all. So we said, you know what, we're gonna finish everything, then we're gonna do grocery shopping. So I decided to make this video with, to give you an update to see how much can you spend for three people at a, for a month grocery shopping. And you know that you always gonna, during the month, you're gonna be buying some, something here and there. So this is all what we have for 13,900 pesos, which is around 266 US. So we're gonna put everything in a shopping cart to get to the apartment. I'm gonna open all our groceries for you to see everything that we get for that amount of money. Right, so we are up here, and let me show you my refrigerator. First part, nothing you see, it's empty. Just a couple of strawberries and things in there, but look at the bottom part. Well, I know you're gonna say, oh, she said the refrigerator was completely empty, she's a liar. But no, this is more seasoning, yeah, yeah, that's my husband thing, you know? He think he's a, he, he think he's a chef. He's not a chef, but he cook a lot. <laughs> but most of the thing here is seasoning. You see, nothing is food. And then uh, he kept it here in the refrigerator because because of the weather here is too hot. It's some of this dry seasoning that you use, it's, it gets thick. Yeah, I realized that last time when we was doing popcorn, yeah, I was using some of the white cheddar cheese to sprinkle on the, on the, on the popcorn. It was all stickiness inside. So that's why he keep telling me, that's why he put his seasoning in the refrigerator. So now we don't have that much space for the food anyway. But if you are asking how, where did you go to buy this, to do your grocery shopping? My husband loves to go to Nacional. So our regular shopping, like uh, the size and things like that, we get in for Nacional. The meat, we like to go to the meat market where we get a combo, I'm gonna show that to you. And then we go to Price Mark. So we do like go to three or four different places to, to do our grocery shopping. But I'm gonna tell you also something else that I usually tell him. Like I know for sure that in Nacional you get that amount, but if you go to other supermarket, I know that some people, they like what they like, they like to shop what they like to shop like in Nacional. But if you go and buy the same thing in supermarket like Olé, you will save some money. That's what I tell him, but he likes national, so we go and shop in national. Some things we get the supermarket brand because, yeah, it's cheaper like the, these and some of the things that we buy, we usually get the store brand. So let me get out everything that we buy and put it out here. So here's some of the things that we buy. It's some sugar, some carnation milk, my daughter loves chocolate milk, so I usually do her chocolate milk. There's some breakfast also with some hot dogs. A hamburger, and I thought it was just a hot dog bun, but we have a hamburger bun. Here is something to know. Wash dishes all the time, some uh, garbage bags. And here we have some milk, yogurt. We have the regular yogurt thing. We have this one that they sell in Nacional. This one is with uh, ciruela from. Yeah, but that's for my daughter. Uh, because she is uh, don't go to the bathroom too often, so I bought that to help her. That that yogurt is very good. Diva, I don't know if you ever tried Diva CN on the street while they're selling it, but I love me some Diva, especially the red one and the green one. But now I saw that purple, yeah, I wanted to try. And I know, I know some people will say that it's not good for you, that energy drink is not good for you, but sometimes very cold is good, especially here that it's very hot. Well, this is some cleaning. Uh, supplies, this was a detergent, some, um, uh, how you say, powder detergent, that way the cleaning lady uses it, she don't use my uh, uh, liquid detergent because she go, she run a lot to detergent, so I'm buying it here for her to clean. Then let's see what we got here, tomato paste, some salsa for tacos, some of my guandules, corn, 
uh, some beans and some vinegar and garlic powder and some chicken noodle my husband loves that chicken noodle I think so here we also have some rotisserie chicken that way we don't have to cook tonight here we have some eggs some paper towels some bread then we have some tortilla love to get me some egg with tortilla in the morning and some chicken um chicken cube to cook some seasoning for tacos some macaroni peanut butter cheese more tortilla more tomato paste most macaroni some cereal for the princess our tacos our popcorn for the movies more disposable then we have our freezer storage bag to put our meat then here we have some crack style salty crackers we have some cookies we have our oil more beans like black beans red beans more guandule uh, more black beans then here we have some cucumbers for our salad avocados plantain garlic coffee this is the like the um, espresso type of santo domingo coffee my husband's like it's strong so we mix it with the regular uh santo domingo coffee that one is very good we have some tea toothpaste uh for our popcorn more vinegar and this is and this is all what we got from a national supermarket and now we're gonna get what we got which is the meat that we got from the meat market and all this meat that i'm gonna put out uh, this right here that is the the combo that they sell that is for three thousand pesos so this would be three thousand pesos of meat And this is all the meat that we have from the meat market. It, all this is 14 pounds of meat. And we have beef, ground beef, we have pork, pork, more pork right here. This is beef, chicken, and chuleta. That is pretty good chuleta. So all that is 14 pounds of meat that we got for 3,000 pesos. And I have two more bags from National that um, I missed, which is our salad uh, beef the strawberry to do our check in the morning so now um this is what we got from pricemart from pricemart he usually like to get uh this ground beef he like the ground beef no orders from pricemart so we usually get this which is about say six and a half pounds every time we come we just split it in pound between pound and pound and a half we just freeze it that way that we can use it and he used this a lot to do his own recipes so this is another and this is um one thousand and three pesos this six uh this is six point seven pound of ground beef which is about twenty dollars so this thing over here is for six and a half pound of ground beef for twenty dollars and this is another pre-cooked carnita sometimes he likes to just sit down and eat and we got that from price mark too and this almost three pounds and it's 365 pesos which is what about almost seven dollars almost seven dollars and that is it and again we have another chicken here because this one he was using for a recipe that he had so we have two chickens and all this food we had it for what i said earlier we spent here 13,900 pesos which is around 266 us so that pretty much can give you an idea of how much food you can get for that amount of money and everything's gonna depend on where whatever it's gonna depend on whatever you shop at just keep that in mind so i just want to give you an update for grocery shopping that is all what we have for right now thank you for watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next one bye